a very good morning to you all dear students so today we are going to start with the last block from volume 3 okay so the topic of our discussion for today is means of communications so this is our topic of discussion for today so our aim for today is students will be able to choose the different types of communication based on their needs resources needed is your uh, resource sheet worksheet s1 exit content book and your notebook so let us learn the meaning of the keywords okay what is communication and what is information all right so let us learn okay so communication in simple meaning of the term means the egg or fact of communicating then it's known as communication and information means things that are or can be known about a given topic they are known as information okay that we get information for someone right so that is known as information now uh, all right you please note it down this word in your notebook okay telephone newspaper radio letter and television so all of you please note down this into your notebook telephone newspaper radio radio letter and television all right so see uh, what is common among them what is common among them what is common among all the given five five words what is the oh, telephone newspaper radio letter and television so what is common among all the five all right cool see all these are the different ways okay that is to share and get messages messages and information so all the five there are different ways to share and get messages and information now there are different means of communication okay so communication is sharing message with one another they are known as communication okay sharing messages with one another so today you will learn about when to use the different means of communication okay that is for sharing as well as getting the information all right now i want all of us to read all of you to please read this one okay means of communication you can pause the video and then you can observe and then read by yourself okay but first let me read for all of us means of communication all right there are four situations okay so see your father is stuck in a traffic jam and he wants to tell your mother that he will be late and she should not worry what will he use to give her the message give reason for your choice now point number two the government wants okay we are here in point number two okay point number two the government wants to tell people to move to a safe place immediately because there is a cyclone coming which can destroy the houses what will it use to give this message quickly give reason for the choice situation three point number three you all are traveling by car Everyone in the car, they wants to know the cricket score. What will you use to get this news? Give reason for your choice. Point number four. You want to know all that has happened in the country for the last two days. What will you use to get this news? Give reason for your choice. So just let me just explain to you the last point again. Okay, point number four. Suppose you want to know what has actually taken place in the country okay last two days maybe yesterday and day before yesterday what kind of communication will you use or how will you how will you get the information about what happens yesterday and day before yesterday what sort of communication you will use to get the information all right so similarly you have to even write for the race of the tree okay now moving ahead with our discussion so after 
uh, reading the situation carefully, okay? You write the answer in your notebook. Alright, like what means of communication you will use to get out to share message information for each of the situation. Alright, you can choose from the words that is, uh, all right, that is like uh, given again okay, here. Alright, you can choose the word here again, okay, whether you're going to use telephone, newspaper, radio, t letter, and television. Alright, so after reading this situation, you can use either of the given five uh, information again okay, that is from the given point. And then similarly, you have to explain. Suppose you are using telephone so for what purpose you are using telephone okay so you have to give reason from each situation okay i hope you are following me now what means of communication will you choose for each and why so for situation one two three four what means of communication will you choose for each and also why all right, it's very simple. Okay, see, uh, we all know that the phone may be the best way, okay, for your father to talk to your mother. Yes or no? So the government can warn people. That is point number one, okay? The best, the phone may be the best way for your father to talk to your mother, okay, from situation one. Coming back to situation two, the government, they can warn people about the cyclone through the television or by the FM radio. Okay, that is talking about point number two. Answer to point number three is, you could know the cricket score from the radio when you are traveling. Alright, if you are traveling, you can get the uh, score of the cricket through radio. Alright, you can know about things that happened in the country in the last two days, that is from the newspaper. Okay, so we can choose this, that is based on where we are actually. All right, how quickly, how quickly we need to communicate this and how many people need to get the message. All right, suppose if you are traveling by, uh, by train and uh, like you want to talk to your family member means, all right, you need telephone, right? Because that will be a quickest means of communication. And then if you want to know what actually happened yesterday, day before yesterday, then you need, you need to have a newspaper, okay? Newspaper, all right? And then if you want to know the cricket score and then you are traveling, then you can know through uh, radio, all right? That is if you are traveling, all right? And then messages, they can be spread even through television and FM radio, okay? All right, the next question. Like, why is telephone not suitable for informing people about the cyclone? So why is telephone actually not suitable for informing people about the cyclone? And because of that, they are using television and radio. And why is television not useful while, while traveling by car? Why is a newspaper, television, or radio not useful when your father wants to send a message to your mother? Why is a newspaper not useful to inform people to stay at home during a cyclone? Why do we need different means of communication to get information or send messages? The question is a little bit lengthy, okay? So you can always pause the video and then you can continue, all right? Let me just explain to you, okay? See, uh, you think of the number, all right? Or like a phone number, a phone calls, okay? You might have to make it to you want to inform all the people about the cyclone, right? Television, they are too big to be accurate when we are traveling okay when we are traveling by car or by any other means if you were to carry television and watch the news and sports that it becomes impossible all right difficult okay so the telephone is best suited to get and share messages to a specific person specific means if you want to talk to your mom means through a phone you can talk to your mom right so similarly see the newspaper, radio, or television, they share information, they share news, music, and movies, okay, with thousands of people at the same time, right? Because newspaper, as you can see, they are circling every day to different households, okay? Similarly, radio and television, they also share among thousands of people. And when you talk about mobile phone or telephone, they are best suited to communicate with particular person. If you want to talk to your best friend or to your mom or dad, the best way and means of communication is through mobile phone or telephone. Alright, 
sometimes sub some types of communication cannot be used in certain places all right like see the television inside a car that not possible some may not be useful when we need to give a message to many people very quickly okay like the newspaper which need to be printed unlike the radio or television or the internet all right so if you want to communicate through newspaper means you have to print out again okay and that is a long process indeed all right so the last question how do you think people send messages when television radio phone newspapers did not exist in the olden days okay talking about thousands years ago people they don't have television they don't have radio they don't have phone or they don't have newspaper right how did they send messages during those time all right so during those time okay by typing a note to pigeon okay pigeon are actually means of communication during the time so by typing a note to a pigeon which carry the message to the right person all right or by beating drums through a town so that people could come together to listen to what the drum beater had to say all right or then people they started writing letters or they sending telegram by post okay slowly and steadily people they started writing letters and then they started sending telegram by post all right so all those things okay you have to keep in mind for today you have to complete your practice question number two and three okay you also have to browse through a newspaper at home to see what kind of information news and newspaper has all right you can take the help of your parents or your older sibling okay so question number two and question number three okay practice question number two and three how did people send messages in the earlier times and then question number three write two difference between a letter and a phone call you have to write the difference between a letter and a phone call okay and similarly s1 worksheet s1 so these are things to do for today all the base and have a good day